Welcome everyone, this is P and welcome to another episode of Modern Warfare 2 No Clipping. This is one of the best levels of the game, much loved levels, the second favela level. Uh, we're gonna see some very interesting stuff today because this level has plenty of things that we can see. So we're at the starting area, we can see our buddy Roaz, <laughs> who's been tortured from Task Force. So yeah, we have some invisible, some invisible, I mean, some black screens over here, like windows, supposed to be windows or something. This is supposed to be the way we came from the previous favela level, which is quite <laughs> simplistic for this matter, because there's nothing to see there. It's just there. Okay, this is the building where Soap takes down Roas in the previous level again. This is mostly a transition area from the previous level. We can see none of the previous level, of course, is there. And we will discuss this area there later. Okay, so let's just start moving upwards towards the level itself. And see what else we can explore. We have our team here waiting for us. <laughs> Our ghost, our buddy ghost. Okay, that's a lot of trees. <laughs> okay, nothing to see here. Let's just proceed in the mission. We have this wide open area, this really interesting fight. I really have fun fighting in this area. It's a pretty nicely designed place. And yeah, we can see that there's absolutely nothing behind the trees and the walls. Just the background uh, hill. And same thing behind this corner. We have then this cliff over there, we'll go there in a moment. Now, yeah, we have this door which breaks when the technicals come to this area and just fire. And yeah, we have the rooftops, the rooftops, really important. <laughs> and yeah, they're pretty solid and functional. They're not accessible from the normal aspect of the game, from a normal perspective anyway. Not much to see here, just gaps behind the walls. Now, here's the road where we can't normally access. This is blocked, of course. And we can see that there's an interesting link with a later part of the level. We'll go there in a bit, and let's just see this side. We are, we're coming from this area, we're going towards this area, there's nothing behind the walls. The further away stuff are from the map from the in-game part of the map the simplistic, the more simplistic they are for some reason there are some props over here that nobody would ever look and <laughs> that's pretty interesting because why would these be here since it's an out of map area anyway maybe it's just a template for later or something I don't know okay so let's just move forward to the cliff area this pretty interesting cliff area this reminds me of the multiplayer of a multiplayer map corner of the favela, which could possibly be a copy, a prefab or something. Now, uh, this nice uh, alley, or I mean, area to play over here, to fight enemies and play basketball if you want, <laughs> anyway. And we have this cliff behind the walls, which we can see that it's fully textured for some reason, <laughs> uh, at least at this area. Of course, we can see this area, but we don't think we can have a clear visual on this part. However, why not? And yeah, we can see it's pretty big, it's pretty big. We can see the lower levels over here. Now, the funny thing is that if you remember the first mission of Favela, behind the uh, these alleys over here, there was a huge like cliff uh, part of the city where we fought. Now, uh, if we go backwards to the level, we can see that this area was the ta the city part, the downtown part, uh, where we started the level with the car, if you remember. And now this area is filled with some sort of uh, seaside cliff uh, parts of the uh, city or whatever. It's pretty interesting to see how the room of the map is changing and it's disregarding whatever was before it or something. It's pretty interesting to see these things. We can see a pretty nice view over, over here, though. And as I explained to the previous favela level, there is this uh, mirror thingy, if you remember. Okay. Now, yeah, we have now a 
much larger view of the map. We can see that it's somewhat, this is somewhat uh, a cliffside, like a, a cliff bridge or something like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, there's nothing to see behind here. It's just your regular out of map details. Anyway, let's go back inside the map. That was what I wanted to show you in this area. Now let's just go and see the links. Now we have two options here. We can either go from the left or from the right. Nothing behind this fence, of course. Okay, we have this ammo pickups over here. And this is the road where it links back to the other side. It just to the burning tires and stuff. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting and cool. This spawn of the enemies here. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? I haven't seen that before, to be honest. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, not much to see here. What are those, though? Okay, that's it's full black. What are those? Oh, it's default texture. For some. Oh, it's solid. Or is it... Yeah, it's just two default brushes. I know this texture. As a mapper myself, it's recognizable. And it's solid for some reason. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, usually, if you want to see, if you see stuff like that, there's usually something right above them, but there's nothing to be seen right here. Anyway, that's interesting. That's an interesting find. There, we discover stuff every day by using Noclip. And yeah, we have uh, then this, in this like, uh, alleyway maze. Not, not really maze, it's easy to find your way around. Nothing too uh, crazy about it. Let me just reload. Put this annoying thing away. This text message, anyway. Okay, so this background buildings. We'll get there later. It's the later part of the level. Not much to see here either. Just the normal alleyways. We can get on top of these. We can see how those bind together. How the town is really <laughs> made up. Let me just increase FOV. Yeah, 80 would be fine. Okay, now we have this other cliffside which is pretty interesting as well we have the large view of the mountain with the statue on top which is near the area where the level ends now uh, oh this road is interesting we'll see more about it later let's just see where it leads I'll show you where it leads I've explored this before I know some of this stuff it's pretty next of course it leads nowhere <laughs> just to a dead end <laughs> Which is pretty interesting because this area is not really accessible from all the parts of the level. We'll see. We'll see where it's visible from later and stuff. Now, yeah, there's not no apparent bind uh, like connection to the uh, map here. But anyway, it's pretty cool to see. Yeah, I wonder why those exist. We can't see them normally, <laughs> unless now oh, whatever. Okay. We have the marketplace coming up. Coming next here, we have the marketplace. Oh boy, you can see the struggle of the mappers with these. <laughs> okay, there we go, the marketplace. <laughs> Not much to see above them, like regular. Oh, they're even... yeah, you get stuck if you get up there, probably. They must be clipped. Fully clipped. Okay, not much to see, as you see, we are in this area now, just besides this part. This is the uh, area where Nikolai tries to land and he can't eventually land. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I never noticed this uh, in the earlier days, like... I never knew there was a sign over there or something for this football field. So what's behind these walls? Nothing, absolutely nothing nothing at all <laughs> just a tree floating in a fence <laughs> trying to appear like there's something out of map yeah those areas those spawns you can easily go inside too when enemies go oh the intel area whoa which is pretty similar to the area we saw earlier a small room that we found earlier i don't know if i oh that's an interesting room pretty dirty <laughs> it's a dirty room it's a favela after all. Okay, and this is the parkour part where we do this nice little uh, free run section. So yeah, we have uh, absolutely nothing on the bottom of the rooftops. We have just 
blank uh, concrete surfaces that just kills you well when you fall or something. This ramp over here and stuff. You can't go over here, of course. It's <laughs> nicely blocked, blocked off. And now there's an interesting part. Just before we jump, we make the jump. So, we're here. We're supposed to make the jump. If you go over here... I noticed this like long time ago, long before I even learned Hunt No Clip. So if you notice here, if you jump, you can see an out of map area. Of course, the mapper, the mapper designers of this level, just never, th uh, never took into consideration that you would stand here and just jump to see out of map. But yeah, players tend to do that <laughs> if they explore. So they would just assume that you would just make the jump directly, not just prolong over here and just explore like most of us do most of us who like the game <laughs> like to explore now yeah you can just normally without no clip you can just see this part and that's like a discovery no oh, also this <laughs> yeah that's a discovery i have done i made like long time ago long time ago yeah it's just wide open because there's no reason to put anything over the here because the normal view of this part would be below here anyway so yeah, we can see this road leads to mostly nowhere, but this alleyway, this alleyway is... Oh! Oh, it's the alleyway we just uh, go later. Okay, um, yeah, I was disoriented for a moment. I will just show you something now. Um, I'll explain my view of the map before I even uh, understood how the layout is. Like, originally, before I explored the map, I thought that when you jump here and you fall down, the area, this door was in the opposite side. I thought the uh, area we jumped from just was uh, the door we were going afterwards was just in front of the uh, part. Okay, that solves the mystery of the prefab we saw earlier in the corner near the burning tires. Anyway, so yeah, I thought we were just going this way, but in fact, we're going right backwards from the area we jumped from. I was. I originally thought it was the opposite. Anyway, just a minor uh, thought of mine. Nothing really to bother you. So yeah, this is the area we saw earlier. Over here, it binds with the parkour part. So yeah, okay, we saw. What's that? Oh, it's an indoor area. <laughs> anyway, okay, not not much. Okay, I confused myself. <laughs> I don't want it to take me with you. So yeah, we have these pawns over here. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Let's go over here. Mm -hmm. This part, this is pretty recognizable. You know this area, like, yeah. It's pretty wide open rooftops area for the final run. And there is where the road leads. So we jump out here. And the road where we see in the near the marketplace ends up here, right next to the rooftop uh, part. <laughs> Pretty interesting. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Nothing, really. This is the area where we do the jump. Let me just see. Yeah, you can see the rooftop part from here. It's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Very good. Let's just follow the, lo the road to show you exactly where it goes. There we go. See how nicely it binds. Just... Whoa, that was too fast. Okay, there we go. There you can see how it binds. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Like everything is binded together in a way. With this road. Okay, what do we have next? Most of it is unac not most of it, all of it is inaccessible outside this part. You can't just go anywhere. Just if you jump, you just lose. Okay, let's just go this area. There we go. Not, not much to see, not much else to see. Like, we basically explored everything there is for this one. That's the jump down area, the, the slide area, the broken window, and the final. <laughs> jump pretty cool that's pretty cool <laughs> HDR effect okay so from what I see this is all of it 
this is the final jump just the end corner of the cliff town or whatever jump here and then we go this way <laughs> and if we see it there's just nothing <laughs> it's pretty cool pretty cool to see how large this map is pretty interesting really cool oh and of course the statue same way we did last time it's fully modeled it could be the same prefab yeah it seems very similar similar to the last one so yeah it must be the same the uh, boats just like the last time are just <laughs> made out of cardboard or something the houses too they're very similar to the out of map area of the previous favela level and we can see just how high it is if you're afraid of heights this is not really <laughs> enjoyable for you just look at that the scale of it all okay one last thing before we go guys because i discovered something right after i pressed stop recording and i just discovered those blinking uh vehicle effects that seem to be used for the planes that fly above the this area and they seem to be pretty well aligned with the area so yeah we can just trigger this event and see how these planes function like if we go here oh <laughs> i just went in solid let's just go and see this area there we go let's just observe where the plane goes there we go it stops here and i was right it's for the plane <laughs> my guess was right it wasn't hard to guess of course and i think there's a second plane coming up which could use the same effects which is pretty interesting that they exist out of map instead of spawning at the time of the plane pass do we have good mod on <laughs> i don't remember we'll find out soon the vision changes there we go another plane look at that it's just oh man i'm missing it it's the same plane just without <laughs> Yeah, the effects, I mean the effects move to it. And then they probably stop here. But what if we observe these effects from inside of the map, if we fight? Like, I don't know if they delete afterwards or something. Like, if you go here later on, can you see them or not? Can't see them now, to be honest. Oh, there they are. Like, they're over here, we're over here. Oh, they're barely visible. But I really want to see what happens if we fight through this, so I'll get to you in a moment. Okay, so we're here, as you can see. And let's see if these lights are now visible, since we are done with the sequence. If the script of the level removes the lights, and no, it doesn't, as we can see. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't remember if there are any other plane uh, passes. That's pretty interesting, because... If there were the skybox uh, wasn't that bright, we would be able to see them pretty easily, because if the background is correct, there you, you can see them. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> like, the skybox saves the... <laughs> oh, we can actually see them. I can see them. There we go. Right there. Come on, man. <laughs> right there. There it is. <laughs> you can see it normally. That's crazy. Anyway, let's just move on with this. Okay, guys. I think this is it for today. Oh, we just go out of Skybox. This is it for today. Thanks for watching this episode. Next time we have the Exodus map. The Exodus level of Model for 2. Not much to see there either. <laughs> it's not the most interesting level. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.